Now in this video, we're going to talk about Azure Data Catalog. Now Data Catalog is not itself a big data service. It's not processing data in any way, actually. It is more like it's exactly what it is, a data catalog. It's a data discovery service. Data Catalog is basically enterprise-wide metadata catalog of all your data sources. And if you've heard of this term, metadata is basically data about data. And so it, it contains, this catalog contains all of the definitions, the locations of all of the data in your enterprise. And if you've got, like, if you are a business user and you want to know, well, what kind of data do we have on this person? Or what kind of uh, data do we store about the order? Where's the historical data stored? If you have needs for data and you need to know where that is, your data catalog should tell you exactly what you have and where it's stored. So Azure Data Catalog is a fully managed cloud service that allows users to discover data sources they need and understand the data sources they find. It really exists so that it, it helps the business to understand what data they have. Now, this is not a new idea, right? I can recall going back 20 plus years creating UML documents and trying to document our database at classes level and at the table level. Though that's a, that's a lot of work. If you're going to sit down and, and sort of manually document all of your database, that's a multi-month, that's a multi-month piece of work, right? So this data catalog does actually help the IT department as well in the documentation. So it does some certain amount of stuff automatically and you can just uh, append to it. So data dictionaries have been around for like 20 years. They're usually challenging, time consuming, boring. You do all this work and then nobody uses it. And then it quickly becomes out of date because you, your database and your schema changes over time and nobody keeps up the documentation, right? So let's talk about the process. Okay. So you've got your, you create an Azure data catalog and then you start to register one or more sources with the data catalog and by registering it is you're pointing to where that data exists within your environment. The data catalog pulls in the metadata, metadata for that. And that could be, um, you know, in a table situation, tables and views columns. It could be in a blob situation. It could be in other types of data get stored. Then using their tool, the data catalog tool, you can annotate this. So let's say you've got many people, five, 10 people who know about your database and know about the history of why this was done this way and what this field really means and what are the possible values. And so you can have multiple people go in, annotate your data with descriptions and tagging, any other information, more metadata. And then you have restrictions in terms of who can see it and what the level of access is. So ultimately it's just a documenting tool, but it works within the Azure environment and it's sort of a documenting tool for the 21st century essentially. 